Welcome back to Deb's Artsy Life. This is not really an episode, it's just a quick um, update from yesterday. I'm out on the front porch. It's Sunday afternoon, well, Sunday evening, about 5.30 maybe. Um, I just wanted to uh, tell you that a viewer from yesterday's video um, told me that if I watched Roxanne Richardson's um, YouTube videos, on knitting that she would teach me how to repair a hole the hole that I showed you yesterday in this and if you'll look I was able to follow her video and do it I don't know if you can see the back looks kind of rough where I sewed the ends in you can see the thickening kind of right here but I was able to repair the hole, as you can tell. And so I was thrilled. And then I started looking at this. <laughs> and on this garter stitch border, I've got six rows on this side and five rows on this side and a hole in the middle. Let me find it. There it is. Can you see that? <laughs> well, I have no clue how to fix this. I mean, how do you add a row? You can see it's thicker on this side. I don't know what I did. If you guys know what I might have done or how to fix it, let me know in the comments. And then I'm trying to decide, do I frog it? Do I unravel it and start over? after all these hours and you wouldn't believe how many hours is in this little skinny piece of fabric but anyway knitting is frustrating to me because you have so much time invested and it's not very easy to fix a mistake and I seem to make way more mistakes in knitting than I do in crochet but I have managed to continue on this and the yarn is such that with the patterning, it's easy to see a mistake. Your stitches are very defined. And it just seems easier to knit with. Even though I love this yarn, as I said yesterday, because it looks like a local yarn shop yarn. It looks like natural fiber, expensive natural fiber. But this is, is easier for me to knit with. So I, I don't know what I did. I don't know if it was because I was on circular needles and I was learning. But um, I think it's frustrating when you spend all day knitting. And it's not that I don't enjoy it. I love the, the process of it. Um, but with crochet, if you spent all day, you'd really have something to show for it at the end of the day and with knitting it just it just takes forever um but you know hopefully as i progress i'll get better at it and that won't be the case um but it is a beautiful beautiful day here it was hot earlier but it's cooled off and there's a nice breeze the sun's shining and oh my gosh my yard is so very beautiful um so I just wanted to film from my front porch because I haven't done that. And uh, this is where I sit and knit and crochet and rock. So I've got the whole Grammy uh, phase of my life. I I've got a really good start on it. My grandson will be too soon. <laughs> so rocking and knitting. I, I have an old soul anyway. So. I wish I'd known how to do this years ago, but I, I love it. And all during the week when I'm working, I just want to be out on my front, front porch knitting. <laughs> so, I will continue on this project and enjoy my evening. And I think I'm going to set this aside and decide what to do about it. I'd, I'd rather correct the mistake and start over than continue and spend even more time knowing there's so many errors so i don't know let me know what you think but 
I did think, well, I, I got the yarn cake for like $4, so if I waste one learning, it's, it's really not a big deal. I could just keep going, cast off, and use it as a little piece of fabric as a spread, you know, just uh, a headband? I don't know. <laughs> it's about the width of a headband. I really could do that. But anyway... Thanks for watching, and um, I hope you'll check out all my videos and maybe subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for being here, and thanks so much for the comments. They're so helpful, um, and it's nice to connect with all of you. Before I go, I want to turn the camera around and show you these gorgeous flowers. They come back every year. They're not supposed to. Those in the pots, I hope you could see them. I couldn't see what was on the camera. Um, but the flowers in my yard are compliments of my husband, and they are absolutely gorgeous. So, have a wonderful evening. I'm going to knit more on my shawl, one that doesn't have so many mistakes, and I will see you next time.